because Chinese, they do love themselves. Some big pork bones. Mm. I actually have a Calpico soft serve. This is a durian butter finger sandwich, guys. A Coco. Coco. everybody I'm here at the Tangra Mall in Flushing Queens this is a brand new food hall and I'm about to eat everything sinful eats can you tell me what's going on with Tangra? Hey everyone welcome to Tangra this is a 1.2 million square foot new development here in downtown Flushing uh, let's go explore the food hall let's go all right, so as you can see in this brand new food court, there's all types of Pan-Asian food. We got Viet, we have Chinese, we have Korean, but we're starting off at this spot. What is it? Uh, this is Zab Zab. It's authentic Isan Thai food. Let's check it out. Guys, Isan food next to Korean hot dogs, next to this and that. It's very diverse. Listen, to get this type and this level of authentic Isan recipes over in a mall is insane. Obviously, it's top top. They're established. They have locations outside of a mall. But to have this inside is ridiculous. You have pork jerky, beef jerky. You have pork collar. You have a mountain volcano of pork bone. And then you have a fresh tilapia. And you can get your hands into it. And it's just... This is crazy. Like, honestly, I would not have expected this. I've been to a lot of malls and I've eaten a lot of food. And Thai food like this is something you don't find. We were so happy that we got Zob Zob to come to Tangram because it's like authentic Thai street food that you can't find anywhere else in Flushing. Starting off, I gotta go in with the Volcano Leng Tab. These are pork bones topped with chilies. They told me that it's very popular amongst the Chinese crowd as well because Chinese, they do love themselves. Some big pork bones. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna get dirty with it. <laughs> that is so good. A little bit of lime, fattiness from the pork. Actually, super clean tasting too. This is fire. To get this in a mall that's right next to City Field, I can go to a Mets game, I could go to Orange Theory. This is just changing the mall experience. You can bring that to Regal, or watch a movie instead of popcorn. <laughs> so I'm watching, I'm watching the newest Michelle Yeoh movie, just mmm. Right, this is the spicy pork collar traditional dish Ooh, the pork collar it's still hot got the little wrap low fried basil let's go for it I think they do the best Thai pork I've ever had I mean you can also come here and get your mainstream dishes like your pad Thai Isan sausage but come here and try this as I'm going in on the fresh tilapia this is only like 35 bucks here and I feel like to get this experience in a mall is still insane Ooh. A little tamarind sauce. A little spicy peanut fish sauce. Yeah, yeah. Top it off with a little bit of rice noodles, just a little bit. Isan street food in a mall. I don't even know if you can go to a mall in Bangkok and get this type of food. Last but not least, we got the Thai beef jerky and this mango sticky rice here, as you can see top with some coconut juice. The mangoes are ripe in season. Look how yellow they are and orange. Amazing. It's my favorite. Woo! Here I have the signature Thai beef jerky. This one's sweet, this one's more salty, and I have the authentic sriracha sauce here. Shout out to Hoi Fong Foods, but there is a real sriracha sauce. Mm. Bro, that kitchen is so small and you guys are whipping up the tilapia and the jerky and the isan and the pad thai. It's crazy, good job. All right, everybody, and I'm gonna try our very own smala oil. This is just the tester one. This is not the final label, but I'm gonna try it on the sweet Thai beef jerky. Mmm, it's good. Let me know what you think about it. Water. Chef Brian from Zab Zab. Wow. Gives you a different flavor. Man. Yeah. Wow. Very good. Mala coming out soon. Link down below. Cool. Thank you. Brian, this is a dish that we didn't have at Zab Zab last time in Brooklyn. This is the Isan sausage. Right. This is wow. 10 gram only. <laughs> 10 gram special only, guys. This is one of my favorite Thai dishes in the entire world. I get the little fresh garlic. There we go. 
we have two different ones. One is rice. Uh, this is northern and that's north. And this is the rice sausage right here? Wow! Wow, much softer. Oh man. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are here at Dawei Kitchen. This is our second spot. I'm telling you, this is the most authentic Shanghainese food you might be able to find anywhere, not just the mall. I'm talking about Manhattan, I'm talking about Queens. Oh, uh, Sifu, can you tell us about this? Uh, this the main character is his chef. The chef is a great chef. It's not without any additional ingredients, without any additional ingredients. This is a very high-quality one. Yes, yes. It's a very high-quality one. All right, you guys are looking at crab noodles uh, with the thin Shanghainese noodles. In Shanghainese, it's hafen bo mi. That's the uh, Shanghai dialect. Listen, guys, the noodles are definitely kind of alkaline, like a ramen, super QQ, super chewy, but in a good way. My goodness, come get some xie fen ba mian. Shanghai's xiao rong bao. Next up, guys, we've got a su cai bao, which is more of a vegetable bun. And we've, of course, we've got the xiao rong bao, aka soup dumplings, aka xiao rong bao. Real crabby. SpongeBob's in there, crabby patties. Woo! Han biao zhen, han di dao. Okay, last but not least. Ah! Yo, I'm telling you, in 7 Elevens all around Shanghai, for breakfast, you just get the su tai bao. Luo ho tzu, luo ho tzu. All right, we're here with Queens Perry, you know from Image NYC, joining us here at Tangram. Uh, you're trying some very authentic Shanghainese dishes with our new smala sauce. Obviously not the final label, guys, but this is the recipe, so. Can I squeeze it on for you? Yep, let's try it. Boom. First time trying your hot sauce. Give him even more, even more. Boom. Mm. I like Made that. with truffle. I like that hot sauce. Mala on the Shaolong Bao from Dawei Kitchen. Watch it flow down the crevice. Uh. Uh. Mala yeah, hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Fire. Check the link down below. Of course, guys, I'm here with Sifu from Dawei Kitchen. Luo Sa Heng Um, this is what? Sengjian Mantou. Shanghai is the Wow, yo, there's so much juice in the middle, guys. Woo! Listen, guys, these are as good as any of the ones that I had at Yang's Shenzhen Bao in Shanghai. No cap. This is a This is a all right, you guys, you already saw Sifu right here, the master. He grated the fresh black truffle on top of the pot stickers. Good here, right there. Let's try it. Last but not least, we've got the Shanghai Yue Bing. Uh, Shanghai Hua, how do you say? Xin Yue Bing. Xin Yue Bing. Xin Yue Bing. Xin Rou Yue Bing. Oh,新年快乐,新年快乐。Uh,师傅,你想跟那个客人说什么呢?那个观众。希望大家来尝一下,品一下。He said, come check it out because I'm telling you, Dawei Kitchen is super authentic, it's super good. My Shanghainese side loves it. Ah! All right, you guys, our next part is na tart. With filled with dan tots. Yeah. Wait, why is it called not art? Because natural art flavors not tart, fl flavors egg tarts. Okay, yo P, I have you ever seen this? Flow. How, it's a it's a work of art. All these egg tarts. Yeah, have you ever seen egg tarts like this? Uh, this no, I haven't. Uh, is this a new idea? Because I've never seen anybody do anything. Yeah, as that's a, a new idea. But based on the original egg tarts, and then we create uh, many flavors. So what flavors do we have here? So we have a uh, mochi, and then we have a uh, wubei cheese, and then salty boy, chocolate bobo, uh, dorian, and then uh, 
egg yolk. All right. Yeah. Mochi, mochi egg tart. tart. Oh, we got red beans inside. Oh, Ube cheese. cheese. Mm. Chocolate, Chocolate bobo. bobo. Mm. Oh, the pigs don't like that one. The pigs don't like that one. Durian. durian. Harry, I know you're not a fan of durian. <laughs> but I'm going to try this. Try it, try it, try it. Oh, durian fresh. Not bad. Hey, if Barry said it's not bad, I like it. I like it like it. Rosong Rose meat floss. floss. Hey. I never had pork on on uh, egg tart before. It's not bad. Very it's not savory, bad. Taro, taro and, and salty egg, egg yolk. yolk. Oh! The egg yolk is... Lot. Fire, yeah. Yeah, Dong Wong got a lot of egg yolk in there. I'm telling you, at Na Art, you know, natural art, they're doing Don Tots different. Perry, what are you looking at? We have a affogato with a Don Tot inside with ice cream on top. I've never seen a dessert like this. I've got a pineapple fizz. If you guys know, they like pineapple fizz drinks in Asia. And of course, we've got the original Don Tot, Don Tot Portuguese egg tart. Uh, but of course, by way of Macau. So yeah. let's check it out. All the egg parts are super flaky. Let's see. Honestly, I it's think really these bad. are the best egg tarts in New York City. Maybe America. Yeah, one of the best. A new affogato from Nat's Heart. Really good. Here at Tangram Mall, and we are at Sun Choi K, aka Sing Choi Ki, aka Hong Kong Street Food. Man, we got the Dong Ling Cha iced lemon tea with the little bear in there. I got a salted plum drink. This uh. is rare to find. This is not easy to find. I'm gonna pack open it. 7 Eleven. Ah, after ah. all this food, I needed that Dong Ling Cha. No, let's just bust open this. Uh, Saitonsi. Oh, snap. Wah! My dude. Wah! In my life, guys, I'll sample it anywhere. This is the first time it's entirely burst on me. I'm like a wuxi tongue bao. Mmm. Wow. Pretty good, pretty good, man. It you... looks like just a regular butter salmon tea. But um, it is not a regular butter salmon tea. Why? This is a durian butter finger sandwich, guys. As you guys know, Hong Kong style finger sandwiches, it takes after the British tea time, and you know, with the crust cut off. But you know what? I think the durian twist is something new to, you know, elevate the experience just beyond regular butter. This is the Dowling butter. Durian butter. Salty, fatty, durian. That's actually pretty good though, but I like it. It's not gonna be for everybody, but I like it. I like it. Wow. Oh my goodness, Andrew. This is not a Macau curry. You thought this was Omu Kale. Mm. This is Malai Kale. It's actually Malaysian curry. Pour it on to the whipped egg. Man, it's so crazy, man. When you're talking about Hong Kong stuff, you don't know if it's Hong Kong curry, Macau curry, Malaysian yeah. curry. You don't know where the curry's from. India. Here, split that open. Look, wow. Wow, we. Wow, they really do the proper Hong Kong Cantonese song. Some toy gay. All right, guys, Malaysian egg curry over rice. That's fire. That's fire. Last but not least, we have their special beef chow mein with a salted plum drink right here. I love this drink. This is a very deep cut one. Only uh, Super HK spots have this. And I'm gonna be pouring our very own Smala Chili Oil that's coming out soon. Check the link below. Woo! Drizzle, baby. Mmm. Yay! We getting lit! Guys, I like how the Tangram Food Hall has a little bit of everything from Thai food to Viet food to Korean food to Taiwanese boba to Hong Kong street food to matcha to hot pot to chicken sandwiches. Come to Tangram.
All right, everybody, our next spot is Ching Shu Spicy Hot Pot. This is actually a chain that is from China, and they are doing something that you, you have never seen at any other food hall in the world, or at least, you know, in America. Guys, they, have, seen before. they have the hot pot skewers here. Now, these are a lot of meatballs, fish balls, um, sausages. Here you have different broths that they're sitting in. You have the pepper one, you have the tomato one, you have the herbal one, and you have the mala. Obviously, these are your four main types of hot pot broths that you'll get at hot pot spots. So. Pete, what you going for? Let's pick them. Uh, I'm gonna go for the mala right here. Oh, 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 oh. you've been eating spicy lately, okay. I might go with the mild uh, herbal pork bone broth, okay. Oh, you'll get all get the balls. And then, oh! Wow, <laughs> this sausage has been soaking in some sauce. Ching Shu. Cheers. Mmm. I got a shrimp in there, look. That's pretty fire, actually. Ah. Fish balls really good. Wow. It reminds me of Asia, you know, going into 7-Elevens and they have all the skewers, except it's not the five spice or the soy sauce braised. It's, it's the different hot pot braids. So actually, this is a really quick, this might be the quickest way to eat <coughs> hot pot. Hot pot, yeah. If you, if you don't want a whole bowl of hot pot, you want something quick on the go, you just pick it out. It's already bathing in the hot pot, and you just grab it. Hey, yo! Glizzy time. Flavors A1. Check it out. Guys, our next spot is Sauce Swerve, originally from the Lower East Side Chinatown. They have spots all over. Now they got one here at Tangram. Here, I have the Sauce Swerve Swirl of Hong Kong Milk Tea and Ube, and then you- We got the lychee strawberry here. Yeah, so they're doing both. They have the scoop ice cream and the Sauce Swerve, so you get two different textures. Let's go. Shout out to Sauce Swerve, Mikey, all those guys doing a great job. Mmm. Ube milk tea. We got Lai Ta and Ube, the two hottest flavors. I love how they mix together because Ube is giving you kind of that sweet potato vibe, vanilla vibe, and then you got the Hong Kong milk tea. Hong, Hong Kong Lai Ta. We got the strawberry and lychee. The lychee is not too sweet, just right. Really you good. Can, you can actually see the white and the strawberry, like the strawberry and lychee mix, guys. Best ice cream here at Tangram. That's some of the best sauce work in all of New York. It's actually my favorite sauce work. All right, next spot is Joju. If you guys have heard of them, they started out in Elmhurst, but they've made their way out into the city, and now they're back in Queens here at Tangram. Uh, what do you got here, Sin? These are the kimchi fries. Here I have the special Joju bami. It has a egg in the middle, kind of with the traditional Vietnamese meats. And then here you you have the pork banh mi. Guys, this is like Joju's doing some of the best like Vietnamese American food that there is. So let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The Joju on me, dripping with the egg yolk. It's crazy. Juice is dripping today. Egg yolk's dripping. Everything's dripping. Mmm. It's tangy, it's crunchy, spicy, it's all around good. I got the Joju fries, crack egg on top, stacked with kimchi. I love how they're fusing like Vietnamese flavors and even some Korean flavors. I think it really makes a lot of sense. And it could be kind of a Korean Viet fusion. It's something I'd like to see more of. Mmm. Got some extra long egg rolls here. Mmm. Mm. These are the extra long and skinny Jazo Vietnamese egg rolls. You can still see the pork and the little uh, wood ear mushrooms and pepper inside. I love it. What do you love about Joju and Zap Zap being here? I was really excited for Joju and Zap Zap because they're local uh, restaurants that start out in Queens and we're so happy to have them in Flushing. We don't have to make a trek all the way out to Elmhurst. We could just like, you know, come downstairs and just have this great food. Yeah, homegrown businesses, guys. Here I got the pork bowl. This is like your special pork bon mi. Uh, all the elements except in a bowl form now. Refreshing. Next spot, we got chicken sandwiches. Every food hall needs chicken sandwiches. 
Um, yo, Perry, you have the Coco Wang wrap. It's like a Beijing style burrito. Ooh, kind of with Peking duck vibes. I like it with lots of scallions, and I love scallions. And then here, I got the chicken on fire, guys. This is like their signature chicken uh, sandwich. Chicken thigh, of course. You can see the different layers. Dark meat. We got wings. We have truffle fries with truffle aioli. Solid. This is Coco Kachu. This is a Chinese chicken sandwich brand and it's fresh made to order. Cheers. Cheers. When you go to China sometimes, they got the chicken pecking duck wraps or the chicken wraps. Very similar. It's really good. Down to try. I'm excited about this one. Woman, woman, Tai Beijing. Yeah, the flats kind of operate like a dumpling, bro. Sometimes, like, the juice is inside, yeah, yeah. and until you break it Super open. Hot. Wow. Coco. Coco. Hey, we're at Michael Matcha. I'm just kidding. Uh, what do you have here? I have the Michael Special. Yeah, I actually have a Calpico soft serve, and I actually have the Shogun, which is matcha with a green, I mean, with a gold sheet on it, guys. They are doing super premium matcha here. Very. This is one of my favorite places to get matcha from, I'm not gonna lie. And one thing about the gold sheet, by the way, it is actual real gold, but it's just a slight amount, and it actually just passes through your body, and it's totally non-toxic. But yes, if you're wondering if the gold is real gold, it's actually real gold. It's crazy. Go for it. Galpico. One of my favorite Japanese drinks of all time. This is fire. The Shogun. Mmm. The Galpico and the matcha, they go really good together. It's like a nice balance. What I think is so cool is that it really does feel like a brand new mall in Asia. I mean, you can see all the people behind us. I'm not saying that, you know, I think a lot of them are Asian Americans, but a lot of them also are recent immigrants. And they're people who live in the building, okay, who, you know, have nice apartments, but also people who are just from around the area and want to be in a brand new mall that's catering towards them. And again, Tangram, they also have a lot of American businesses too, but the food, food is Asian. Next spot is I Milky. If you guys don't know, they specialize in having fresh milk on their bobas. Super, super high quality. They have some locations in the city, Long Island City, and now Tangram. Karen, what do you have though? I have a fresh mango green tea, 50% sugar. Yeah, I got the taro milk tea with purple rice. I have the fresh strawberry milk tea. All right, while it's still sealed, we gotta shake it up. You guys know the deal. That's good. Guys, I recommend getting 50% sugar. I think that's all you need. Same thing, it's really refreshing, I love it. It's pudding inside here too. What I like about yours, Karen, is how murky it is. Like, that's like all the real fruit from the mango. It's not just that clear liquid mango syrup. It's actual, real mango. All right, everybody, that does it for our Tangram food hall crawl. We almost pretty much ate everything, and there's a whole bunch of new restaurants that are popping up that aren't even open yet. Cynthia, what do you want to say about Tangram? Um, if you have nothing to do, just stop by Tangram. We got food, we got movies, swimming pools, shopping, anything they, you can think of. They have a beer garden you can watch the game at. We're here out at Machi Machi. It's a chain from Taiwan that's actually named after Jay Chow's dog. Guys. J Chow's dog got a boba chain here in Tangram, all right? Guys, make sure you check out Tangram Mall in Flushing, Queens. They're always popping up with new concepts. It's high quality too. Check it out.